All right, guys, we are <laughs> in the Fab Lab. <laughs> I think you, you know it now. Um, we are right now cutting with, again, the, uh, the laser, obviously. It's a little bigger project. I'm getting slowly there, but I don't know if you will be able to catch on camera. This is a little box uh, designed with Inkscape. And right now the machine is it's just uh, the laser is just uh, cutting everything. Uh, it's uh, I think 10 minutes cut, and the box size will be a uh, 30 by 25. All right, we are now on the PC, um, and I would like to uh, show you what is required for you in order to be able to create very easily the tapped box. I'm assuming that you already have Inkscape installed, so I'm going to move to the second requirement, which is having Python uh, installed. So you will have to go to Python and I will put all the link on the description down below. Um, you simply install everything and then Inkscape will look like this. Inkscape is very powerful uh, once you come to the extension. Uh, as you can see, there is some extension pre-installed already, but we're missing one actually, we're missing the laser tool. Um, and I will actually uh, show you uh, now uh, and we are going to use um, something that's been created by Elliot White uh, it's on github um, and, and we will actually use uh, this plugin in order to uh, have the extension so go ahead and click on download as a zip to actually go to the Inkscape folder which uh, in my case is under programs Inkscape, yes. And then we have to go and find the extension uh, folder, which is under share and extension. Once you download it, you actually simply extract this. I already have extracted on my uh, desktop. So under box, I uh, just took the three file required. So which is box makers, box maker.pi and uh, shroff maker. So, you go ahead, copy everything, go under extension. You just paste the three file. Go ahead and close Inkscape. I'm going to delete this, so I'm going to reopen Inkscape. And now under extension, we have something called a laser tools and on the tape, uh, tab box maker you can actually define the uh, unit for your box and you will see it's extremely extremely easy so you put your lens so in my case i want to do uh, let's say 200 by 200 by 5 centimeters which is 50 millimeters in this case um, put the minimum preferred tab width um, and we can actually put a proportional uh, and if you hit apply over there, that's actually generates the box for you. And you can just go and straight away cut this on the laser. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the editing. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to mention we've been reaching a new milestone on the channel. We are now at 500 subscribers, this is amazing and I thank you all for the support you showed to me. 
Uh, if you are not subscribed yet, uh, I'll suggest you do. I'm releasing a project every week that involves 3D printing, laser or CNC or any project actually uh, related to DIY. Um, if you have any suggestion, I'm, I'm currently searching for an inspiration on a bigger project that involves laser and 3D parts. So if you have any suggestion, uh, please leave a comment down below um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next week project.